Let's jump into the most important thing. So they dated the Jumanji sequel today. Yes, so, I know. <laughs> right, so where are you in the development process? You know, we're writing the movie right now. Um, and uh, all the, the guys that I'm working on that with are here tonight. But we're, we're just figuring out what exactly the next movie is going to be. And I'm happy to say I feel like we're making nice progress on it. And it's, we've got some exciting stuff going. Well, the thing is, like, the, one of the reasons why... I, I mean, listen, I loved the movie. Uh, but one of the things about it is that it felt so organic. The story felt like it just made sense. But now, for this movie, for the sequel, you have to find a way to bring back all of these people and probably even more people you know what I mean so like have you cracked that part of the story I think we're getting very close to cracking it and, I, and I, I, you know it's 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 a complicated little puzzle but it's um, I think we got some good stuff cooking but you know what I mean because yeah. here's my question for you and you can confirm or deny I was wondering if the next movie would have a way of having your original cast with like another board game cast so it's like you, you're, you're thinking like uh, the cast of the Game of Life makes an appearance? But, but, some, but something that allows your cast to interact with another group from yeah. another game, or I'm just curious That's if a I'm... a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're taking okay. ideas, I'm right. telling you, it's a complicated one. <laughs> Well, one of the things, though, about The Rock is that, or Dwayne Johnson, is that his films have a lot of heart in them. Yeah. And that's one of the through lines of what he likes to do. So talk a little bit about bringing that to the next film and how challenging it is to find that angle. You know, the it's a big part of what we all loved about that story in that movie was that it has, the, you know, there's this big fantasy that has kind of like a, a real kind of like strong emotional center to it. And I do think that's a big part of what uh, DJ responded to about it in the, in the first place. And I know it's a big part of what I loved about it. And so part of the challenge of figuring out how it continues is to um, keep that alive in ways that feel earned and, uh, you know, uh, like a true kind of continuation of the story. Um, Completely. Well, one of the things, though, is that you have a release date, and so that means you have to obviously start filming by January, whatever it is. Do you feel that pressure on, like, oh, wait, we, like, we have to start filming on a certain day, we got to start designing the action set pieces, like, how, you know what I mean? Uh, the short answer is yes, I do feel that pressure. Uh, the, uh, I've had this conversation several times lately. We feel like we, uh, you know, it's going to be quick, but we feel like we have an idea that we're excited about. And so we're at least got a, we're off to a good start with it. Was, uh, It'll be a lot of work, don't get me wrong. Well, I was going to say, you, uh, I mean, like, yeah. With you, so I'm at my last question for you. Uh, I'll leave here tonight and I'll be thinking about nothing else for the next year and a half. What? Where do you know when you start filming and have you already thought about locations? The idea is to make the movie in the beginning of the year if we can get it all worked out. Sure. And, uh, and, and we have not started figuring out the locations yet. I was going to say, because Hawaii was a big part of the last one. Yeah, uh, Hawaii was a big part of it and we, we love Hawaii and it would be great to go back there. So we'll totally. See. I'm going to leave you there and say uh, uh, congrats. Cannot wait to see what you guys cook up. Oh, thanks so much, man.